Social Security, an anti-poverty program. That's what we're going to be talking about right here in the video. So let's get right into it. All right, now, first off, let me ask you, do you think that Social Security is an anti-poverty program? Well, it depends how you look at it. For some people, yes, it may be an anti-poverty program. For other people, no, it's not even close to an anti-poverty program. But again, it is different for virtually everybody. But I've been seeing this in the headlines a number of times recently where they're now saying Social Security is the biggest anti-poverty program in the United States. Is that really true? Well, we're going to be talking about it right here in the video, so let's get right into it. However, really quickly before we do, thanks so much for joining me. If you're enjoying this video so far and you want more like it, please make sure to subscribe right down below the video. It's totally free to do so, and I'm here for you right by your side each and every day, watching all this new information, hitting the wire, doing the necessary research, and breaking it all down into these short videos. As things are changing very rapidly right now, it's a very busy, confusing, and uncertain time with a lot of changes that are coming in and I'm watching all this closely and bringing it to you every single day in these short videos to help you out in any way that I possibly can as I truly want to be here for you every single day to bring you all these updates and to help you as much as I possibly can. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet and let's get into it and talk about Social Security and anti-poverty program and what they're now saying about this. Now let's talk through the details because Social Security is actually a very, very important program as we all completely understand it. We've talked about literally every aspect of Social Security in previous videos, but I want to talk through the details about this because I've seen this in the headlines a number of times recently, and they're now saying this, so, so that Social Security is an anti-poverty program and the biggest one in the entire country. Now, when I say Social Security, I'm talking about all of the benefits that are administered by this program, including Social Security retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, and SSI, Supplemental Security Income. Now here's the thing, SSI is technically not Social Security benefits, but it is administered by Social Security, so it's also included in these figures right here. But let's talk through the details here because this encompasses about 70 million people. It's a lot of people. It's a huge, huge percentage of our population here in the United States. Now, here's what they're also saying, that Social Security and the programs within the Social Security umbrella, those uh, programs that I just pointed out a second or two ago, all of those programs account for about 21% of federal spending in this country. It's a lot, right? So again, with that much money going out, you would think it should be an anti-poverty program. Well, it depends how you look at it. Remember this much as well, and I've made a dedicated video talking about this as well, which was, remember SSI, for example, I'm just using this for an example really quickly. Remember SSI was established way back in 1972 as an anti-poverty program. That was the whole purpose of SSI back in 1972. However, over the last 51 years, unfortunately, SSI has gone from an anti-poverty program to literally a poverty program, okay? So, and again, it, they got to make some ma major changes to SSI because here's the thing, SSI, there's pieces of legislation in Congress right now to change this program to lift benefits, but the problem is these benefits are significantly below the federal poverty line. From SSI, they've been falling behind for years and years and years, and over the last 51 years, this is what's happened. They've fallen behind the federal poverty line by about $300 a month. It's a lot of money, right? So we can clearly see there. Now let's quickly talk about Social Security because it's kind of in the same position. Now here's the thing. Social Security sends out monthly benefits, like I said, to about 70 million people across all of these benefits. But all of these benefits range across the board, right? Some beneficiaries could be getting $300 a month. Some could be getting 600, 700, 900, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 plus dollars a month. Yes, believe it or not, there are some people out there that can get over $4,000 a month. In fact, about $4,500 a month is what somebody can get from Social Security. It's a lot of money, right? Uh, on an annualized basis, that is, what is that? Um, like $55,000 a year? Is that right? I'm just doing the math in my head right now. I think that's right. $55,000 a year, roughly just under that in the course of a year. It's a lot of money, right? That's like, that's a lot of money. <laughs> I guess I didn't realize it until now when I'm calculating those numbers. That's a lot. If somebody's getting the maximum social security benefit, that's like 55 grand a year. It's a lot of money, right? Wow. Anyway, uh, basically my point is some of these individuals, yes, it is by all means an anti-poverty program. However, get this, if somebody is receiving less than the, the federal poverty line, and this is their only source of income, 
Now, you know, let's just talk through the details about that really quickly. In fact, I was out with a separate video not that long ago where I was talking about the details about this and showing 40% of Social Security beneficiaries rely on their monthly benefit for 90% of their monthly income or more. Okay, so essentially 40% of Social Security beneficiaries rely on their monthly benefit for essentially all of their monthly income. Okay, that's a major problem. Okay, now let's just talk about that. Let's just talk about those 40, uh, the 40% 40 of Social Security beneficiaries who have their benefit as their monthly source of income. Now, if they do not have any other income above and beyond that, and if their benefit amount is below the federal poverty line, $14,580 a year or about $1,200 a month, then technically it's not a poverty, it's not an anti-poverty program, it is a poverty program, right? At that point, just like SSI, like I talked about just a minute ago, where SSI, Supplemental Security Income, is literally in that exact same place as well, where these benefits are significantly below the federal poverty line, and as an SSI beneficiary, can you have a bunch of income? Not really. You can't really have any income on a monthly basis, otherwise they start garnishing your benefit. Now, obviously that's a little bit different for Social Security retirees, and obviously it's a little different for SSDI beneficiaries as well. Those groups can have a little bit of income which ultimately could help that out a little bit, but it's not required uh, to receive benefits. It is not required to have an income above and beyond your monthly benefit. And in a lot of instances, a lot of beneficiaries can't have an income because, um, you know, just for a variety of reasons, or, you know, maybe don't want to go out. Maybe they've worked for 30, 35, 40 plus years, or maybe somebody has become disabled throughout their working years. And unfortunately, you know, can't really return to the workforce. So of course, of course as a result of this, uh, when it comes down to it, is Social Security really an anti-poverty program? Well, it's one of these like two-pronged uh, answers here. For some people, sure, it can be. If somebody is getting over that, say, $15,000 or say $14,000 and say $600 a year of benefits, then sure, it could potentially be an anti-poverty program. But how about the 40% of beneficiaries that are relying on their monthly benefit as uh, as the as the sole source of their monthly income and if their benefits are below or at the federal poverty line below it then this is no longer an anti-poverty program even though we continue to look at this and like they're saying in the headlines that oh but wait social security accounts for 21 percent of federal spending Okay, just because they're spending a lot of money doesn't necessarily mean that it's lifting everybody out of poverty. So it doesn't really mean that at all. In fact, uh, the report goes on to show, get this, last year alone, Social Security lifted 26 million people out of poverty. The year before that, 21.7 million people were lifted out of poverty because of Social Security. So you can see that in a course of uh, say one year, about 4 million more people were lifted out of poverty just because of Social Security, right? Now, how many people this year, this year are going to be lifted out of poverty because of Social Security? That's a good question. I don't have that answer yet because we don't know that. We're not done with this year quite yet, right? 2023, by the way. But when this year wraps up, we'll probably get a better glimpse into how many people were lifted out of poverty this year because of Social Security. But either way, again, 26 plus million last year, 21.7 the year before. So it's a lot of people that are being lifted out of poverty just because of this program. But then my real question would be, how many people are still living in poverty because of these programs and not being able to escape that because there's parameters on earnings, right? So that'd be a big question as well, which again, we don't have the answer to right now. Either way, I thought this was very interesting. I wanted to bring it to your attention. We've we've got to continue watching everything going on with Social Security right now. There's a lot of big things that are changing, a lot of things that are being announced. And again, we've got to continue watching all this because you'd never know at what point something's going to come up or they're going to make some major changes. We know there will be changes to Social Security. We know that for sure. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when and what are the changes going to be, right? We know that, that it's gonna happen. We just don't know what they're gonna do quite yet. Either way, I'll keep you posted as I get more, uh, more details. So again, please make sure to subscribe down below. It's totally free to do so. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands and thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. Thanks again for your support. I truly do appreciate it. I truly wanna help you out as much as I can. Enjoy your day. Take care and catch you again later in the next video.